Hello there, peeps. This is Wadaka of the SP Gamer once again, and let's get this over with, please. Kirby Squeak Swap Perfect Runs Jam Jungle. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. I can't even English right now. That's how frustrating this stage is to. Ugh. And now I'm not even making sense. And we have a mid boss right at the beginning. It's Bow Fighter or Box Boxer. When he super jumps, he'll leave behind stars, so make use of that. And then he'll immediately run to one of the walls. So that makes him very easy to deal with. He's really easy, much like the rest of the stage. And much like the boss from a technical standpoint. So why haven't I beaten this yet? <laughs> oh. In a mix of attrition, which is one of the actually the lesser of the two reasons. It's because of artificial difficulty! And I hate artificial difficulty. If not for that, I would be done with this by now. <sighs> Basically, the reason I haven't beaten this yet is because of a demonic entity known only as Yada Gain. It's a freaking hermit crab machine what loves to drop rocks on my head. Think Power Piston from Mega Man 6, only terribly designed, only worse. He doesn't have a moving hitbox, well, unless you count moving left to right, which isn't that big a deal, but he... In terms of dropping rocks on your head, he can drop them at any time. Well, okay, that, that was actually wrong to say. He can drop them anywhere, even right above your head, in the corner. There's no safe spot. And now this wouldn't be so bad if there was some sort of visual indication of where the rocks are going to drop. But no, the game doesn't even give you that. So it's all based on luck, whether you succeed or not. And it's frustrating because, the, like I said, the rest of the world is freaking easy. I can do everything perfectly, and then Yada Game just take it away at the end. And even then, it's not only the rock drop, that's just the most evil thing he can do. But then there's also the, the block attack that can be... It's not as bad, but it's still bad, and it just... It doesn't help my frustration when I do get hit by it. And look, I'm not even talking about the stage. Here, block in. Enemy disguised as a star block, just slide into it. Their, word, their main threat comes from if you don't see them coming. Other than that, they're really easy. Also, they can't be inhaled. There, I've talked about it. I... It's like when Markiplier was trying to do the first 20 mode in the first Five Nights at Freddy's. He kept on getting to the end, then Freddy would take away the run right at the end, and it would all be based on luck. That's what it's like. Yada Gain is Freddy in this instance, and the stage is doing everything perfectly. Like, this isn't even difficult. I'm not even going to say this isn't even that difficult, because it's just flat out not even difficult. It's all because of artificial difficulty and attrition uh, that I've been failing. Thing is, the attrition is the lesser of the two problems, because the more, because it just adds on. And I wouldn't have to suffer as much attrition if I, if Yada Gang would just let me beat this and move on with my life already. But no. Now the thing is, about artificial difficulty, it's the reason I can't stand Kirby Superstar, the original. That game is so riddled with artificial diff- and that's that's a rant I'll do for- say for another day, but that's the general idea. Now not- I don't absolutely- artificial difficulty isn't a complete game- game breaker. Deal breaker for me, because after all, Star Fox 1 it, it has artificial difficulty, and I can usually deal with it. It's just, when it's so bad that, like, a terribly designed boss that can just hit me anywhere and I can't do anything about it, especially in a game like Kirby, where the formula is already established, it's just frustrating that I can't do anything about it. I prefer the taking the bottom path because the top path has Scarface. This just has a heavy knight you need to deal with. And some Gorders to pass. 
But yeah, it's not that bad. I knew Yada Gain, it's... I knew Yada Gain would be a pain when I started this series. I just didn't expect that it would take this long. Granted, this perfect run, this one, this level has been taking longer also due to real life stuff. But even so. Hang on, mom! I... I just want to be done with this. And yeah, you can light up the candles to light up the room with the fire ability. I don't think they hide any doors in the black areas or anything like that. Ugh, sleep. Yay. Let's just get rid of that. Angel, okay. And then Doc himself, the pilot of Yada Game, just loves to be a troll in this room. Loves to make me nervous. That's... yeah... Uh, let's put put it a different way. He loves to distract me and make me nervous in this room He's not ho that dangerous. He's not dangerous at all Unless you st spit a star at him and then have to outrun him But and don't run into him or else you'll deal contact damage also terrible Not even the dark the honestly in my opinion from experience people are expect people expect dark the roach to be a problem and yeah i see that but Dar dark the roach who comes later in the game i at least had the the what level itself is short and i feel like i am getting a better idea of how to deal with dark the roach it's still a bit luck based but at least I, they, any mistakes I make, it doesn't feel... It feels more fair, basically. With Yada Gain, he's not difficult. It's just, he can choose whether he wants the run to end immediately or not. And I hate that. Oh boy, you're gonna be a pain. Like I said... If everything went well, I would have been done by now. But no. No, Yada Gain just has to be a pain. Yada Gain just has to constantly drop rocks on my head, spray rock blocks at me, and just not let me finish. And it certainly doesn't help matters when I get hit by the attacks that are at least fair to dodge. Like his laser attack. Yeah! <laughs> and yeah, that's an example of attrition. Just want to be done with this and so that... And so that causes me to be more prone to messing up at the parts I really shouldn't mess up at. Anyway, don't float in this room. I've already accidentally hit the sparks on the ceiling once and it's just not worth it at this point you just want to pass through this mr frosty is easy enough to jump over he's easy enough in general and this is basically the end of the stage other than a gimmick level because filler in fact this level itself even is filler why oh we'll see well at least it's less filler than the gimmick level but you get the idea And here, it's a race to the finish, because, yeah, and I think I failed to get the treasure chest, but that doesn't matter because we're not going for the treasure chest. I've gotten it, like, so many times now. Oh, there, there I go saying, like, oh, hey, I actually got it. How about that? It's really easy. Blah. Okay. Please. Please. Yeah, see? Look. Level? We could have just gone from the ruins, but nope. 
Please. 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 Please, Doc. I'll clip the wings of an angel if I have to. And... I... I... I don't know. Ah. Please. Just let me finish this. God, that didn't deflect it or guard you. Uh, I haven't seen him do the laser in a while. Yeah! done. It's finally done. It's finally, finally done. Oh, I never have to do that again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can sense by the relief in my voice that it took way too long. I am, gl I am very, very happy that that is finally done and yeah so uh, i need to go down and do the dishes so in the meantime enjoy outtakes plenty of outtakes it's done Help you then, you're finished, it's the end. There'll be no retrieval from me. Be sure to time your pass. Then this gets a bit more tricky. Yeah, I guess I just gotta be quick for that. Quick but careful. Pass the snooter. Oh, come on! Now you choose to be aggressive? That's just mean. Good job. Good call me. Okay, that was bad. Fun series. Ow. Keep calm and carry on. Oops, that was a mistake. Uh My bad. Can you please not attack me, Doc? I'm not gonna move until I know what he's doing. Okay, please. Take the treasure. No, no, leave me alone. Thank you. Yeah, you want to keep your- This- Seems like that was all part of his master plan to catch me off guard. Well done, Doc. And here. Oh, you're being a- Ow! Okay, I did not mean to float up that high. Snooter, you are too close to the ladder. That is not what I wanted to inhale! Uh, poor sl Okay, I yep, knew that would happen at least once. I was waiting for it to happen. <laughs> okay. That's a. Uh, that was a good shot. <laughs> that was kind of funny. All right. <laughs> Since I seem to be at the top of my game today, maybe that bodes well for me this time. Chip. And let's deal with this waddle do. An exercise caution when coming down here. Okay, they're slowing down a bit. Hmm. 
It, yeah, it did not bode well. Wait, switch. And get hit by a waddle do. Yes, that's that's exactly what I meant to do. Mainly the boss, and even then, it's the boss isn't actually that difficult. We'll see when we get there, but ow. Okay, that. <laughs> don't don't just turn around. Just inhale. I. Yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh... Yeah. Did I really just get hit by that? That's embarrassing. This isn't even that threatening. How did I get hit by that? You aren't even hitting me! Okay, now you hit me. <laughs> and Mr. Frosty, everyone. You, it took that many hits for- oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it took that many hits for you to kill me. You are pathetic. Waddle do who? No. <laughs> and then that happens. Flaw. Size caution. Just know where they appear and they'll, you'll be fine. Oh dear. Ow. Okay. Well, you know, now I'm wondering. Okay. Yep. Don't, 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 don't stop to wonder about something in this room. That will get you killed. Remi Are you serious? Then quickly pass through here. That was not quick enough, but I still made it. Okay. Oh god, he respawned! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, I'm- I'm still at full health, good- <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeep! Oh! That, uh, attrition! Oh, well, I might as well practice this just to see what's through here. See if it's an easier path. You're kidding me. It leads here? If I had known that, I just... <laughs> I could have avoided those Migas the entire time. <sighs> well, at least now I know, I guess. For those wondering what that little rant was about, up until that outtake, I had been taking the door on the right in that room, which has a gold waddle dee and three migas you have to deal with in narrow tunnels. Afterward, it drops you off where the left door takes you. So, yeah, making things harder on myself. I tend to be good at that. Now, as for the rest of the outtakes... Am I going to get that pattern? Oh, uh, no, it's- oh, yeah. 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 No! Ah, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, that again is annoying. One of those battles that gets easier as it goes on. But I'm not going to get complacent. Okay, now I just have to worry about the lasers and him dropping rocks on my head. No, not a Gordo! Ugh, I don't care. You're dying anyway. Ah, oh, man. Uh, well... I guess it was destined given the the issue that occurred there with the recording. Whatever. How long did that persist for? Please be nice to me today, Yadagain. Do not drop rocks on my head. You dropped rocks on my head and I swallowed a rock. Blah. Okay, that, I, I, know, I, I saw that coming. I should have reacted sooner. Uh. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. There's no predicting this guy. 
Yato Gain, will you please be nice to me today and not drop rocks on my head? You troll! Oh, no, he's just going to do that. I hate you so much, Yato Kid! I hate you so much, Yoto Game. <sighs> well, Seen that pattern before. He just well, at least he didn't drop rocks on my head. I'm at least at least there's that. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That was a bit unfair, but it's at, at least he didn't just drop a rock on my head. Let me beat you. Let me win. Let me move on. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Uh, okay, I'm gonna figure out why I'm shivering then continue. If I had inhaled the first rock, then I would have been screwed. But then I failed to, and I was trying to inhale the second rock, and... Oh... And he was at more than half... Less than halfway left. It was going so well. <sighs> this boss isn't that difficult. It's all randomness. <laughs> Honestly, I would have felt better if I had gotten hit by the laser. Because then, that would be just me failing to pay attention. But when you just drop rocks on my head... I don't know. I don't know- I don't even know what rating I'm gonna give this. Because a low rating? High rating? Because it's not hard. The only reason it's taking so many tries is because of artificial difficulty. So... <sighs> I don't know what to do. Revenge! Revenge! Sweet, glorious, tornado-based revenge! I don't care that I hate this ability! I hate you more! Eat the wind, you mechanical monstrosity! <laughs> ah, I feel so much better now. So you all are probably guessing what the rating is, aren't you? Well, the answer might surprise you. I give Jam Jungle a 2 out of 10, and that's being generous. As I said during the perfect run, the world itself isn't all that difficult. There's no obnoxious traps, and while the room in the first level with the Shotsos and Heavy Knights can be a bit troublesome, 
it's not bad enough to warrant an extra point, I think. The extra point comes from the auto gain. No surprise there. But why isn't the rating higher if he gave me so much trouble? The thing is, Yada Gain, from a technical standpoint, is actually a really easy boss to fight. All of his attacks are pretty basic, from his laser, to the block spray, and even the rock drop attack. The problem is that he can combine attacks like the rock spray and laser to form attack patterns that are flat out unavoidable without abilities that give you invincibility, like Tornado. And then, of course, he can just choose to drop rocks on your head, even at the edge of the screen. Now, if he drops one rock above Kirby's head, that's not a problem, you just need to jump and inhale it. But if he drops two or more, then it becomes unavoidable. And I say unavoidable, because there's no way you can react in time without any sort of tells where the rocks are going to land. This battle wouldn't be so bad if one of two things were done to change it. Either make a safe spot in the corner where the falling rocks couldn't hurt you, thus making the rock spray and laser the only threat, or have a visual indicator where the rocks are going to fall. Since it has none of that, it's artificial difficulty, and because it comes down to luck whether I win or lose, it would feel wrong to me to give this guy a higher rating. At least Power Piston in Mega Man 6 consistently shoots bullets at you to keep you busy, with the auto gain it's all based on luck. Needless to say, despite the low rating, I'm considering this guy as my first nightmare boss. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you all next time. Until then, bye ya!